Well, what we're going to do now is we're getting into algebra. And here, let me adjust this camera a little bit. There we go. So we're talking about algebra. In algebra, there's um, a slightly different representation of some of the mathematical things we do. So, and we've encountered this a little bit. Um, for one thing in algebra, because we use X as a variable so often, we're going to stop using it as a multiplication sign and we're going to use the dot symbol instead. So if you have three times two, this now is represented with a dot. And again, the reason is that we're going to be using this X as a variable. Now, another kind of issue with multiplication is when you multiply numbers, the variables. So suppose we have three times X. Now this is the variable X. So what does three times X mean? Well, three times X, whatever hidden number, unknown number X might be. But we even take a shortcut here. Now for numbers, we won't do what I'm about to do because if we do this with numbers, things are going to go wrong. But what we'll do when you have a number times a variable, we write it without the dot. It's implied. So whenever you see a number in front of a variable like this, it means three times X. These are the same thing. Now we won't do this with number times number because if you got rid of the dot, it looks like the number 32. So when you have number times number, you got to put in the multiplication dot. But for this case, we just place the number next to X. And usually we're always going to put the number to the left or in front of X. That's what we usually do. Um, so if you have something like this, for example, X times two, we'll rewrite this as two times X, 2x. We'll move the 2 so it's in front of the x or to its left. Um, multiple, you'll see this also with um, parentheses. So 4 times x plus 3. We'll remove the multiplication. It's really still there. It's implied. I shouldn't say we remove the multiplication. We hide the sign. So this isn't he appearing here, but it's really implied. There's an invisible dot there. It says this is four times what's in parentheses here. We'll talk about how to deal with this later. All right. So with multiplication, this is some of the changes you'll find. Uh, variable times variable. X times Y. We will write this as X next to Y. Again, we'll, we'll hide the multiplication sign. And I guess it's just faster. It's more efficient. So that's what's going on. So in general, for multiplication, This one won't change. Three times two. That one keeps the dot visible. And then four dot X plus three. This one again, you can write it with an invisible dot. So multiplication things change a bit in the algebra. All right. The other one, and this has come up before, but it's division. In algebra, we're going to get away from the division sign, and we're going to go with fraction sign. Division and the fraction bar mean the same thing. So if you have x divided by 3, this is the same as x over 3. And likewise, if you had 3 divided by x, this would be 3 
over x, where the front number is always on top, the second number is always on the bottom, or if it's an unknown number like a variable. Another thing, and we'll talk about this about terms in a little bit, but that's sort of the uh, arithmetic language changes we'll make in algebra. Uh, I do want to mention another one that comes up. When you see something like this, negative x, technically what this means is negative 1 times x, or you could write it in the more algebra form. It's that. So when you encounter this, it really means negative one times x. Uh, another thing that comes up, and this is kind of strange, x by itself. This technically means one times x. And the reason is, well, one times, say, three is just three, so one times x is just x. So we'll sometimes write this as 1x, but not often. If you have 1x, what they're going to want you to do is write it like this. Likewise, if you have negative 1x, they're going to want you to write it like that. So there's some bits about language with algebra. Any questions about that, let me know.